I'm meteorologist Alyssa Carlson. We want to give you a live look at what's going on here with the radar, and we're still watching as rain is falling at a moderate pace in some areas to a lighter pace as we make our way from the beaches inland. Now looking at most of the basin, seeing some steady rainfall around the area, and we're still looking for some pockets of heavier rain out still into the mountain areas, the eastern San Gabriel's. Let's zoom on in a little bit tighter here. I'm watching for some moderate rainfall out near the 134 as well as um, the portions of the five seeing some heavier downpours as well. So if you're traveling that direction out near Glendale, maybe making your way toward Pasadena, some heavy rain headed your way and we'll continue to watch as that's the same cell that I showed you uh, about 45 minutes ago that made its way inland here from Long Beach over near Rancho Palos Verde. Still looking for light rainfall there. So La Cañada, Flint Ridge area, you are going to see some rain in your area in about 10 minutes or so. The 210 looks to be pretty wet. Take it easy if you must travel. Um, obviously advised to stay indoors uh, as we head throughout the morning hours as well. Now seeing more rain in the Santa Clarita and Santa San Fernando valleys. Also as we make our way back off toward the west starting to see some rain pick up now near uh, Ventura County and Oxnard. So we'll be looking out for anywhere from a half an inch to an inch of rain possible in the eastern San Gabriel's as we head through the next couple of hours. The heaviest rain hopefully will be over with by 3 a.m. As we take a look here at totals so far, just updated these. The Upper Mission Creek uh, has seen 13.43 inches. That's one of our highest totals. So mountain areas saw quite a bit more. New Hall then at five and a half. And so we'll continue to look for lesser totals uh, into the basins, anywhere from one to three inches for Los Angeles and uh, continuing to be a little bit lighter near the coastline as well. The future cast still showing the rain throughout the overnight hours. And and this is 2.30 a.m. Still some pockets could pop on in here with some heavier downpours. So keep that in mind. We haven't seen so much in the way of winds. And it looks like the winds will probably start to uh, diminish as we head into the early morning hours. By mid-morning, looking then at just the lingering showers possible. So we're still seeing this steady rain. We'll probably see this for about the next two hours or so. And I'll be back with another update at the top of the hour.